The Forestry Commission and the Youth Employment Agency signed a service agreement in 2017 for the joint implementation of a two-year forest plantation program under the Youth in Agriculture and Afforestation module. Beneficiaries were to establish forest plantations, undertake enrichment planting of degraded forest reserves, plant trees on farms, maintain and rehabilitate forest plantations. However, the youth engaged under the module have been faced with a myriad of challenges, including reduction and delays in their allowances. We, 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 we want to assure them that the uh, allowances that are due them certainly would be paid because the, the, the laborer is worthy of his hire. And so having, having done the job, uh, we, are, we are doing all that we can to ensure that the, the allowances are paid um, before Christmas. On illegal logging and chainsaw activities, Minister for Land and Natural Resources Kwekwa Suma Chemi said the Forestry Commission has resourced and deployed 18 rapid response teams to hotspots of illegal activities in the forestry street and wildlife protected areas. These are mobile units that have received military training and are arms bearing teams within the Forestry Commission. In the past six months, their operations culminated in the arrest of 181 suspects and seizure of 98,566 pieces of assorted lumber and 44 chainsaw machines. The Forestry Commission has facilitated the export of a total wood volume of about 169,000 meter cube which yielded some $126 million.